uh, might speak in English, so I'll try to be as slow as possible. Uh, no matter what you do in your life, uh, you probably help people. And also, you probably solve some problems. For example, if you ever prepare the meal, lunch or dinner for your friends or family, you did exactly that. You help people not to be hungry and you solve the problem of their hunger. There is a million other examples to realize that you help people and you solve problems. Uh, well, customer happiness is all about helping people resolve their problems, which is great. That's a great feeling to help people. However, uh, it can produce a lot of stress that you have to deal with. My name is Marko Nikolic. I'm a happiness rocketeer at WP Media, a company behind products uh, WP Rocket and Imagify. And today I want to present you three rules I follow in order to reduce my stress level while providing customer support for our clients on live chat channel. Rule number one. Rule number one, have a lot of fun. Uh, no matter how much you like what you do, if you don't have fun, uh, you can get bored easily, or even worse, you can uh, burn out, and you will not be able to do uh, what you do with passion. So it's it is very important to find even the smallest pieces uh, where you can have fun whenever you can. I do that on live chat quite often, as much as possible. So I will show you a few examples. When, when customers arrive uh, and start the chat in language I do not speak, uh, that can be problematic. Uh, because if we start translating our messages, it can be frustrating and we, we can go in misunderstanding. So what I do is uh, to answer in different language. Mi español es no bueno, pero they realize that. So they answer in English. I just add a little more salt and pepper and answer to German to make it fun. The rest of the conversation were great because we did it in English and it was very calm and nice. Uh, you know the feeling when your fingers are just a little dis dispositioned from your keyboard, so you start typing something, but it, it is not the word you wanted, it's something completely different? Well, that happens a lot of time. Uh, that happens to me quite often. It's important to show uh, that you understand people when they do it, when they do that. So I did it here to show that I understand and it happens, and just to make a little fun. I like this feeling when people arrive on chat and they say, okay, sell me your product. I do not provide customer support anymore. I imagine myself dressing nice suit and selling the product, going from door to door and telling nice things about the product our product. When you arrive to chat, you're not sure who, who you speak with. So, <laughs> what you do? People ask, are you a human or are you a robot? Every single robot will say, hey, I'm human, how can I help you? What I do? I try to find confirmation. So, I, since I work from home, I say, darling, I ask my wife, uh, am I a human or am I a robot? So, I wait for 20 seconds, and then I say, okay, she confirms I'm human, how can I help you? That's very nice, and we have very nice conversation, no matter how much they are frustrated because of problems or anything, we have nice communication. Okay, there is no better feeling when you don't need to start to have fun, but what you do? When customers arrive and they want to make fun, for example, this guy was orthopedic surgeon, so in the middle of chat, he said, okay, Marco, I got to go to uh, cut some fingers. So I asked him, okay, what's your job? Uh, he said, I'm orthopedic surgeon. And it was funny. He wanted to make fun of his job. I'm sure it's not fun. Rule number one, be kind and stay polite. There are different kinds of people on the internet and in real life. But what is important is that to stay kind and be polite because you're professional and you need to do your job as best as possible. You cannot allow yourself to uh, explode. Troll number one, ignore. Hi, how can I help you? Negative rating. 
Let's go further. I want discount. So no hello, no how, hi, how are you? Just I want discount in big letters. That means they are shouting. OK, I can give you a discount, but not immediately. You need to tell me a good joke. If you tell me a good joke, I'll find something for you. If not, sorry. People do not read. They don't read. If you uh, send them a little longer sentence than usual, they will read few words, and that's all. So uh, I send a link where to open support uh, ticket. They didn't read it. They asked me again where to create a ticket, and I had to send it again. Uh, rule number, t number three, act responsibly. Uh, whenever you are behind the screen, people, people think that they can do everything, but they, whatever they want, because no one sees them. In life, you can hurt people by your acting. You can do it on the internet as well. You're not hide, hiding behind your screen. You can hurt people, maybe even more than in real life. There is no need to use these words. I didn't hide this. I want to show it. There are a million other bad words people use. Uh, this is not going to solve your problem at all. So there is no need. It's OK not to be happy with the product, not to be happy with uh, customer support we provide, but we can solve it in different way. Uh, people use different tactics to get what they want. Uh, even they don't respect real people with real disabilities who need real assistance. Uh, we, my team and me, we investigated this a little further. Just uh, this is a guy who pretends to be legless, to have accessibility issues, and wanted the product for free. Uh, we investigated, and, it was, and, it, and we real, realized he is not really like that. He, is, he has very good business, and we could not provide that to him. Control number two, so this is the same point. And at the end, uh, no matter what you do in your life, make sure to have a lot of fun, to be kind, and to act responsibly. Thank you very much. <laughs>